Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and we're out here doing a few track saw tests and what we've got sent from Karcher for a little test is their M-Class dust extractor. I think there's a lot of tradespeople out there who will know exactly what an M-Class is but just for those who don't, M-Class is now the preferred standard in fact as a lot of sites now insist upon an m-class dust extractor when you're using power tools and the like and the reason that they want the m-class is because if it stops sucking at the desired liters per minute rate then you get a little alarm on it that tells you that either the filter's blocked or the dust bag's full or there's something in the hose you set this up on your power tool and you can adjust it on the front it's got a speed control a suction control if you like it shows you there you mustn't go below that what we've got here is the permanent on position where you obviously just turn it on and it's always on or we go around to here and this produce you can hear you can hear the little alarm go there now that's the beep for saying that you're not getting enough liters a minute through and that's because it was set too low on the standard but the idea is that when we plug a power tool into here we get an automatic start up for of the machine on the auto setting and we also get an overrun once we turn the saw off or whatever we're using, there's an overrun to extract that last little bit away. So it's a fully automatic process that you've got there. Unusually, a lot of these ones, uh, the, the front entry, if you like, this is a plug so that when you're carrying it around, you're not spilling all that dust back out. And what we've got is the hose that goes, clips into the front. Now you would imagine that you've got a bag in there and that that hose is going straight into the bag, but it doesn't, and I'll show you that in a minute. What it does is it has an elbow there and it goes down into the bag. Now, the significance of that, as you'll see in a moment, is that you have to use bags which are configured in that way. So it limits your choice of bags and that may be a consideration. I haven't checked out the price of the bags on this machine. So you don't wanna get into the situation where you're buying a dust extractor and then they've got you by the short and curlers in terms of getting the replacement bags, you know. So what we've got in the side here is a nice little adapter, universal adapter, rubber one. We've tried this already on some saws and if you take that nozzle off there we can then put on the dust extractor nozzle there and plug that straight into whatever power tool we're using. Now it's a bit fiddly when you come to remove that because you've really got to press those little yellow clips in tightly in order to get that off so maybe that's a good thing maybe that nobody wants that coming off by accident and that is pretty securely on there round the back here we've got a couple of clips that allow us to wrap the hose round now that to me is one of the best features of the machine i hate it when you're trying to lug these things around and you can't keep your hose and all the little bits in a good position by releasing the clips on either side we separate the motor out from the dust catcher if you like what we've got here is a cartridge filter that noise that you hear that bang 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 is the self-cleaning mechanism that will keep vibrating that filter. That keeps the filter clean and keeps it operating at its top capacity. But here's the bit I was talking about. It's a kind of an elbow and that elbow fits into the top of the bag. So you can see that what we've got here in the way of a bag is a bag kind of on its side. So you'd have to have a look, excuse me while I fill my face up with dust. You'd have to have a look and see whether you could find a bag that would allow you to do that to have it upwards i think it's probably all right i think you probably find that you can do it but i'm not 100 percent sure of that i mean that would be the position for a normal bag like that so we have to have a look and see whether that's possible i'm not 100 percent sure about those flimsy little plastic bits there but see how they go that looks like it would be a replaceable part if it ever caused any problems so just one more thing i'd like to say about the difference between the m class which is this one and the l class 
there is actually no difference in the filtration of those two machines. The only difference that makes one an M class and the other one an L class is having that warning when the bag is blocked or the filter is blocked or that is sucking below its capacity. Without that warning, it becomes an L class machine. For most jobs, if you're sucking up MDF and all those kind of nasty things that you're using out on site, this machine will do the job and more importantly it'll tick the box and get you on site whereas some of those other machines won't. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching that. I hope you found that little introduction to the Karcher Professional Dust Extractor useful. It does come with a vacuum cleaner thing as well by the way if you want to just clean up the site. So there's actually a lot of sites now where they've, ban they've banned sweeping up. They don't allow sweeping up anymore because of the dust. So they're really hot on it these days. Actually, I thought this was a bit of an odd arrangement, having a spigot coming into the top, but now I think about it, what it's doing is allowing all the dust to fall into the bag by gravity so that that nozzle isn't blocked up. That way, you can get full capacity out of the bag. So maybe I judge them a bit harshly on that one.